in my second area, they flew me out to uh, La Frontera de Brazil um, on the border um, way out in Puerto Suarez is the name of the zone. And my area was a new branch uh, called La Frontera, the border. Um, and uh, it was the road that would go directly into Brazil, um, up that main road and into, um, you know, into the side uh, country of, um, of what was bordering um, the area. There was uh, very, very much um, a mix between the cultures of the Brazilian and the Bolivian culture um, and the language as well. Um, you learn a little Portuñol um, is kind of what they call it, just a mixture of, of uh, Spanish and, and Portuguese. Um, from the Frontera and Porto Suarez is, is really unique because there's, at the time I served, there was a set of missionaries that were in the city of Corumbá, which is actually in Brazil. So they, they would live um, with us in, in Bolivia, but every single day they would cross the border, they would catch the 10-minute bus into Corumbá, and that was their entire area. And not only did they learn Spanish, but obviously they had to learn Portuguese. So those missionaries would very often stay there for at least six months, um, but they would be in our, zone, in our zone in Puerto Suarez. And uh, I think the only reason why that town is even there is because it's on the border of Brazil. Uh, there's uh, a market that's just on the Bolivian side of the border called La Feria, which is just this huge open market where they sold everything from food to, you know, knockoff jerseys and electronics. And, you know, you'll, you'll understand what I mean when you get there. Just a big market. Um, and all the, all the Brazilians would come over the border because it was a lot cheaper. Uh, the, the currency um, in Brazil was hay house um, uh, compared to the Bolivianos, uh, which is at the time I served about seven dollars, sorry, seven Bolivianos to one dollar. Um, Los Heais were like, you know, two or three dollars, sorry, two or three um, to one dollar. So they would come over the border and they would come and shop at the at the market. Um, and so half of the time, you know, you would go into a contact and they're speaking Portuguese to you. Um, I remember my first day there, um, arriving and doing, uh, doing contacts, um, <laughs> and we were walking and, and doing many contacts in, in Spanish, and um, I remember being told that, you know, we were going to have to learn Portuguese, um, but this first house that we got to, there was just maybe a 12 or 14-year-old um, boy who, you know, walked out from the house um, and came to, you know, came to the road to speak with us, and he was speaking Portuguese. Um, and I didn't realize until after that he was, um, because I understood everything he said. And I, although don't believe I spoke to him in any Portuguese, we were able to speak to him. Uh, he obviously had known some Spanish, um, but it was, uh, a huge blessing um, and a testimony builder for me um, of the gift of tongues, of just being able to be only six months into your mission and, and having a good grip, finally feeling confident in Spanish and being sent out to this area where there's Portuguese speaking, um, you know, people and you're going to have to teach and learn uh, Portuguese. And um, just a, a tender mercy from the Lord knowing that um, he's going to be there and that it is His work, and He will make ways um, to understand and to uh, teach His people. Um, and I'm so glad that that happened, and you know, at that first house, because um, it gave me so much confidence in in what we were called to do um, in an area that was that was so new. Um, the area is um, the area of of the border. Um, of Brazil, where I was serving La Frontera, was the area in the zone uh, Puerto Quijaro and uh, sorry Puerto Suarez, um, just outside of the city of Puerto Quijaro. Um, the border was just this small little stream that was the border of Bolivia and uh, Brazil, um, and if you went over the train tracks, 
uh, there was some very, um, you know, humble neighborhoods of people who had, um, um, who had very little to live on, um, in living in mud houses, um, and, and with, um, you know, the, the ferns and the, you know, the coconut leaves as the, um, you know, as the roofs, um, was, was, I would say, you know, 30 or 40 percent of the area, um, that we were, there was, uh, out towards the border of Brazil, these areas, um, and a lot of them were Brazilian families who would come over the border, um, and it was almost like this little, you know, Portuguese community that lived out there, um, and as we would go and do contacts, uh, we would be walking out and kind of understanding the area. The, we would see far in the distance um, as you walk through these, you know, these uh, dirt roads out to the end of our area. We, we saw this white post, and I wasn't sure what it was. It was probably about 10 feet tall, and you could see it about, you know, 50 yards off into the, into the grass, basically, into the, um, beyond this, the road. Um, and then we looked down the rest of the road, and on the far other end, we would see another post. And uh, so we just, me and my elder, me and my companion decided to go out and see what it was. And uh, lo and behold, this in the middle of, you know, in the middle of nowhere, uh, there was this white post that on one side, you know, on the bottom said Bolivia and on the other side said Brazil. And there was no gate and there was no, you know, border. Uh, it was just this one post, and then you looked, you know, 100 yards down the other way, and there was the other post. Um, and the only other thing that was kind of sectioning off the uh, the border on the other side of town was this little, you know, stream. Obviously some dense, you know, forest or jungle, if you, if you would. Um, but uh, that area is just... Is just right there, and you can go into um, Brazil, and the Brazilians come in to go shopping, um, and so there's a very mixed culture there of uh, the language, of the culture, of the food, um, of the members of the church, um, and all the people that you'll know there. Um, very, very distinct to that zone of Puerto Suarez.